Right configuration is what the fuck does that mean? Up, left, down, right, up. Oh, well that made that hell of a lot easier. There's a part missing. There is a part missing. Maybe there's a storage area nearby. What? Why would I bother? Surely it's just trial and what part is missing? What, this right here? Oh, okay, I see what you mean. I thought you meant uh, there was just a part of this. No, there are, there, are, there are six. I just can't fucking count. No, there are not six. I definitely can't fucking count. What's wrong with me? Hey, I'm done with Brett's incompetence, okay? Somehow, he managed to install an agent emitter known backwards. Oh, fucking Brett. That is so Brett. To clean up Brett's messes. If you want it fixed, send him up to storage for a new emitter, not me. Parker out. Park her out, as if you're that fucking badass that you deserve your own your own sign off. No, only I get to be that badass on this channel. Oh, uh, where are your little pieces? I can do this one at the very least, right? So, left, up, left, down, right. You really think no one's ever gonna figure this out? It's the most obvious shit imaginable. You didn't even try to make this hard to crack. You've literally just got your password written on the fucking wall next to you. Uh, you are awful. <laughs> None of this makes any sense. There you door. go. You should check the door nearby. Oh! So that's gonna open that door, and then this, which will probably give me the storage part for this, uh, and then that'll open another door, which will do other things, and everything is going to be delicious. How big is this place? Fucking tiny. And it seems to have absolutely nothing that I need in here. What a shame. Unless it's up here? No. No, it absolutely isn't. Where are you? This it? Found one. Looks intact. Oh, how unbelievably convenient that this is the only place it could ever possibly lead to. Alright, what do we got over here? I thought it was gonna be a hidden interview or something. Wire, health potion, more metal burn, as much of that as possible, please. And I guess I'm happy to get out of here. Was there nothing else to find over this way? Ah, uh, this place sucks. Oh well. Jesus, what the fuck was that, Aloy? In store. I'm so glad it's just as easy as sort of just slamming it on there. Definitely no intricate metal work or engineering that needs to occur. No, absolutely none. That would be far too fucking uh, obvious. Let's go this way, shall we? And this over here. And where's that last one? Oh, I can't fucking see it. it. It is just up. What have I done wrong? Up, left, down, right, up. Wait a fucking second. Why is the Faro logo upside down? Who the fuck did that? That no. Oh. But if it's upside down, then that means you are. Well, it's basically all the opposite way, right? All the ones that are either up or down are the opposite, and everything else is the exact same. As far as I can, or would they all be the opposite? No, they'd all be opposite. So you now need to go on the left. For fuck's sake, this is going to be so annoying. Oh wow, what a terrifying puzzle that was. Took me a whole, I don't know, two seconds of actually looking to figure out real genius shit right there, Gorilla. <laughs> there we go. Uh, okay. This might just be genius tier puzzlage. Um, but, but it would all flip around. Because the Faro is backwards as well. So it would have to sort of rotate, like, you got to imagine that this thing, the sign itself, has also rotated 180. So that would be down. What the fuck do you mean? I don't know what I've done wrong. I thought I was being an absolute fucking genius here. Maybe the game's stupid? Stupider than me? No, I think I am definitely the stupid one in this equation. There's no way this is gonna work, right? That did it! That did it. But that doesn't make any sense, game! It's not like it just needed to be flipped, like, over to- If you're flipping it one way, then the, the, the horizontal arrows are also going to change. What are you fucking talking about? 
Oh, that literally didn't even make sense. F fuck that. That is a broken ass puzzle. Oh well, oh well, whatever. I'm just, I guess this it's not meant for uh, the biggest of brains like my, maybe it, maybe I am still being stupid and um I'm just not able to tell because I am so full of fucking allergies. So in my head, I'm just right about absolutely yes, everything. Guys. Yeah, that sounds about right. Dump this on the ground. Steal yet more magic shroomies. And we will make our way through wherever the fuck this is. Good evening. You didn't hear the giant fucking door Close. cranking its way open? They're that door hasn't opened in years and years and years and years and centuries. But good. whatever. Gaia, it's up there. Second floor. Can you reach it? How the hell can you tell? Where'd you get that idea from? For avoiding contact. When did you ever say you wanted to avoid contact? We've been murdering these guys all the way through. What are you talking about? It's like this game's script was written in another language and then just Google translated all the way through like 50 times over. Uh, I don't understand. Nothing makes sense. Everything is so stupid. There you go. Did you have a big gun? Well, like you had something large strapped to your back, but no, no, unfortunately, you did not. You screaming? Oh, that guy's got himself a big gun. Or is that just a big ass a set of arrows? What are you? Really? I'm, I'm sure they hadn't noticed yet. Thank you for filling them in on that uh, imperative information. How did I manage to shoot through that giant fucking wall? Hey, whatever, let's, uh, let's not complain. Just as long as the fuckers are dead, I am a happy, happy boy. Why is the music still so intense? Not nothing is happening, game. Uh, have, you, have you not noticed this fact? Apparently not. What is this one? That's Hephaestus, right? I believe so. What's that game? Sorry, I, I'm having very much allergy thoughts right here. It is... Oh god, it's Payday 2. Alright, never mind, I don't care. <laughs> it's a particular heist in Payday 2 that uses, like, Greek god names. I was just like, what is that thing? Is that a game that is in any kind of way related? The answer is very much no. Get the fuck out of here. I thought it was a Sony exclusive for a second, so I was like, ah, oh, Sony seemed to really absolutely adore those Greek lads. But no, but no. Then again, I mean, God of War is a thing. Get the fuck out of here. So maybe they don't adore Greek lads, maybe they just like beating the shit out of them. Kratos style. Or not. Oh shit! Hello! Abundance of boys? Do I have anything decent? I wish I trapped that shit. I did not expect to be coming through here of all places. Come on, join me, motherfuckers! Oh, he has a giant gun. I am so murderizing you first, sir. Really? You- you managed to avoid- how did you manage to avoid that? Alright, well that's one down. Only about another, I don't know, 50 billion to go. Probably shouldn't be murdering some of the few humans that even managed to survive Project Zero Dawn, but uh... Gotta do what I gotta do, right? I can barely even see you, I'm amazed I managed to land that. Uh, that's roughly where your head would be, right? No, that is a wall. Hence why I can't see shit. Fantastic. <laughs> I forgot this thing one-shots everyone. That is amazing. You think I haven't fucking noticed, idiot? Thank you. <sighs> Man, that is a lot of supply boxes. I imagine they are all entirely trash, but uh, I look forward to perusing said trash. What do we got here? More desert glass. Why not? That sells for fuckloads. Yet more shroomage, and I believe we are all the way maxed out. Should I drag my giant gun in there, or can I not be bothered? I cannot be bothered, apparently, because we have things to read. Hello. Oh boy. I don't care, Margot Shen. I'm reading. And reading is good for you, except it's not. Hmm. You guys see that study where it's like, video games are way better for you than reading? That's a cool study. You should look at it. It'll make you feel better about your miserable existence. I know it did mine, but anyway. Uh, Elizabeth Sobek, Margot Shen, full steam ahead. Margot. In fact, that, that, um, by the way, that's like mostly games with like big stories that make you think and everything and stuff like that, like as well as exciting games. I don't, I don't think your average Fortnite match is, is going to stimulate your, your, your cortex all that much. I think that's what it said. Anyway, I read it like three years ago. Mm. Margot, 
If I doubted your brilliance in the slightest, I wouldn't have picked you up as the Hephaestus Alpha. You need to stop worrying about your age and communication style. You are who you are. Have confidence in yourself. You know what you're doing. Case in point. Isn't it... Isn't it case and point? Have I been saying that wrong my entire life? Hey Siri. Case and point. Or case in point. Hey Siri. Google case and point or case in point. I swear to God, if I've been doing this wrong for my entire fucking decades on this earth. <laughs> two decades on this earth, but still. Um, oh my God, it's case in point. I hate it. I hate it. So I thought case and point makes a lot more sense. But I guess it's like the case that is currently in point or on point or, you know, the one that we are referring to. Sorry, that, that silence wasn't actually my brain having some kind of like explosive revelation that I've been an idiot all these years. It was actually just me trying to get myself a lovely, thick daddy giant two liter bottle of water out of a plastic case that takes forever to fucking get through. There we go. Mm. There we go. Case in point. The latest draft of your plan for the construction and stocking of bootstrap silos to store raw materials is excellent. This, combined with your design for the AM Foundry Core and the Foundry Site Selection Plan, add up to a comprehensive plan. It's time to start construction. One detail. Consult with I am... I, uh, oh god, I'm so sorry. I am Maid? No, of course not. It's an African name. I am Ide. I am Ide. I have no idea. Okulo. Before you finalize the silo inventories, Hephaestus' first task will be to fabricate... The robots that will construct the waveform broadcast towers, Minerva, will use to transmit the deactivation codes. So any exotic materials needed for the towers should be accounted for in the inventory plan. Elizabeth. And this okay. is Hephaestus. As the name might tip you off, this is going to be the subordinate function that Gaia will use to make lots and lots of robots. So what exactly was Hephaestus? It's one of the few it's not that mythology boys that um, I'm not used to. So like you probably noticed that only about a few Oh, no, I, I know. He's the, he's the god of, like, the rest smithing or something, right? Metalwork and shit like that. Well, that's because we aren't going to be the ones designing and building robots. The last thing we want is to burden Gaia with a bunch of outmoded 21st century designs. A waste of time. Our purpose is to empower Gaia to Oh, yeah, it is the, the 21st robots. century this game takes place in, isn't it? I always forget about that. From scratch. Any robot she needs for any conceivable purpose, designed and fabricated at a snap of a finger. Hers. Her finger. So why do we keep killing so our goddamn robots? They really clearly important. still do her work. It's more like the knowledge of craft and ingenuity of a master smith to wield the hammer. Encoded as software. Virtual creativity made real. Gaia's already learned. That's so in cool. Simulation, she's doing some very creative things with fractal assembly and animal morphologies. Her designs aren't about to win the Liam Prize anytime soon, but hey, everyone has to start somewhere. So, yes, time to get started. Let's do this. I don't get it. Which part? It's a little technical in places. If Gaia was designed to save life, why would the robots it makes attack people? Because they're not hers anymore. Of life more than others. The derangement. The machines weren't always so angry. And you could probably blame Hades for the anger. Anger. until 10, 15 years ago. For years, Hephaestus has been forcing cauldrons to make aggressive machines. I've seen it myself in the cauldrons. Stalkers, ravagers, the Thunderjaw. How could it do that? And why? Because humans keep hunting the machines that are meant to be saving humans. Because we're all fucking stupid and we love violence. Is this the same thing again? Hello. I'm oh, Shen. go away, Margot Shen. We have had more than enough of your antics. What do we got over here? Sorry, I really don't want her to replay, but I can't shut her up. So, sim results. What do we got here? From Margot Shen to Elizabeth Sobek. <laughs> wow, you weren't kidding about guys. Predilection for animal morphologies. Well, I guess it makes sense because animals are, well, you know, they're evolved to survive on the earth. Um, in pretty much the best way. It's sort of evolutionary design, isn't it? As opposed to, 
man-made design. It's designed that basically suits the environments that they live in as perfectly as possible. Um, so I guess it would make sense that they would make yet more animals, but uh, I, I, I have no idea. That probably doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But allergy brain me is enamored with that fucking concept. Who the hell cares? Um, sure, not totally unexpected given the rough natural terrain her bots will have to navigate. One thing though, the environments that those bots have to contend with, at least at this time, were going to be nothing like the environments that animals of the present day there would have had to deal with. Because it would have just been a barren fucking wasteland, no? Or was Gaia supposed to terraform before the world goes entirely fucking extinct? Because clearly no one did go extinct. The world did not go extinct because pigs, rabbits, birds, uh... What else is still around? Foxes are still around. There are still animals in this... In this wasteland. So, sorry about the constant pausing. That's, uh, that's, that's me trying to hold back a sneeze. Allergies are the worst. But yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't quite understand why they thought animals were going to be the best idea. But whatever. Uh, sure, not totally unexpected given the rough terrain, the n rough natural terrain that our bots will have to navigate. But I agree, there's something deeper going on here. Our designs aren't just functional. They feel almost, well... Tributes is the word that comes to mind. As though she's already mourning their loss. And not just for the disappearing fauna of our time, but creatures from the fossil record too. References to megafauna in some of her designs. So cool. Well, whatever Gaia thinks up, Hephaestus will empower her to build it. I just wish we could be around, we, should, we, uh, we could still be around in a century or two to see what she makes. Margot. Her personal forge. Except, it's not that simple. Um... So, like, you probably noticed that only about a third of you are robotics engineers. I don't remember this the being rest, said. Experts in machine cognition, virtual heuristics, that stuff. This, th is well, there extra here? Because we aren't going to be the ones Oh, yeah, okay, never mind. I, I, I remember this. The There's got to be more interviews and, and, and text shit in this one room, right? It's massive. It's been a long time since we come across a room that doesn't feel like some kind of fridge or broom closet. This fucking thing's fucking massive and it's got nothing to offer for me. Is this Hephaestus? Is this just looks like some kind of big fucking mining tool or giant fucking murder gun? Most guns happen to be murder guns. That is sort of like, you know, their one fucking purpose the world has ever come up with for them. But, uh, you know, let's make our way out of here. And never, ever have to listen to Margot ever again. Oh, okay. We're just in like the, uh... The catwalks, the walkways above her now. And this place is so cool. I'm so glad we got to visit this area. This is the most badass fucking thing. Cultist sniper. Couple of shards. What do we got in here? I think this is it. You Elizabeth do? Sobeck's office. Oh, holy shit. Why? I guess we've already been to Faro's, so it had to happen eventually. Can't be that hard, can it? Careful now. Yeah, that is sort of incredibly obvious, Silence. Thank you. How are you going to betray me? Because it's building it up. Aloy hasn't trusted you this entire time. So either you're going to come in and be like the biggest savior in the world, which I highly doubt is going to happen because this game is very much girl power and everything, which isn't a bad thing, of course, but I highly doubt that any man is going to be treated like a badass in this game. Except Rost. I guess Rost was the only one, and even then it was like, ah, stop holding me back, dad, type shit, you know? Um... So yeah, I, I I don't know. I think Welcome Silence is probably going to end up being a, the, the weaselly traitor. Of the human species and or an Apollo. Of awesome. Generations. I am Samina Ebaji. Until recently, I was director of the International Collective Memory Institute in New Tehran. As a heritage professional, I devoted my career to the preservation of human knowledge, creative endeavor, and cultural achievement. Apollo is... Therefore, the ultimate embodiment of a lifelong passion. Except, you know, way more fucking lives than a single fucking life. The challenges before us are immense. Specifically, we will have to design and implement four major initiatives simultaneously. Then why the fuck do you sound so calm? Get to fucking work! ...repositories in cradle facilities around the world ensuring redundancy. Second... The collection and processing of a projected 180 million discrete data entries. 
42 zettabytes of data in Latin, Holy shit. English, Spanish, and Arabic. Pedum, I mean, Zeta must be the one about Pedo, right? and encoding of all that data onto DNA encapsulated in synthetic fossils. The only medium capacious and durable enough to safeguard it without degradation for the centuries to come. And last, but not least, the development of the holographic interface and gamified curricula, by which future humans will commune with Apollo. Progressively unlocking heuristic learning modules. But that doesn't seem to have ever happened, right? Skills they will need to take control of the terraforming system. That is the future towards which all of our efforts will be directed. Not just the preservation of the past. I love that only her mouth moves. She is truly terrifying. <laughs> her eyes look so bored of all of this. And let us begin. Even though it's the most interesting thing I've ever fucking heard. Holy shit. The Apollo team sounds like they've got the coolest fucking job. All right, or maybe Hephaestus. Hephaestus is also fucking badass. Can't wait to figure out what Hades is actually supposed to do. Have you noticed that they've been avoiding? They've told us about basically all the others, except for fucking Hephaestus. I mean, uh, Hades, sorry. And that, that's the only one that matters to Aloy right now, even though they're all amazing. Subject, encapsulated DNA. And the winner is encapsulated DNA. Over the past 10 days, I performed an exhaustive review of the data storage solutions. Magnetic, optical, quantum. Even the Taternity Tech that FAS was shilling, sorry, FAS was shilling a year ago or so. Uh, but every other solution has one or more fatal shortcomings. Too heavy for transport, too massive to install in the allotted space, too power intensive over the centuries, too prone to failure past 300, 400 years, etc. Encapsulated DNA will easily hold the 40 plus zettabytes we're projecting for Apollo, Though there are still many details to finalize, of course. To start with, we need to select the inert material in which will embed the molecules. In, in, the, in, bleh, in which will embed the molecules. Already testing 16 candidate materials, as well as design and fabricate the power systems and sealed. Oh my god. Reliquaries, whatever the hell that is, that will keep the DNA at negative 18 degrees Celsius for 1000 plus years. Uh, I'm glad that uh, in the future, the Yanks fucking finally switched from Fahrenheit, you outdated fucks. I'm kidding. I love I, I love you. No matter how uh, stupid your temperature system may be. Uh, so long as I assure you that it didn't factor into my decision, may I confess that I deem it entirely fitting. Indeed, propitious that I will... N that we will be using the very building blocks of life to preserve human knowledge from a mechanized extinction. It's not just ironic, but heroic. Life as the hero, beating back the forces of oblivion. In any case, much to do. Until next time, peace be with you, Samina. Well, that was way more interesting than fucking Margot, or, uh, the other one. Did we even have another one? I don't know. Oh, no, we just listened to Margot twice. It is just forever ingrained in my brain. That took fucking forever. And what do we got down there? Mort, uh, <laughs> give me audio, please. Apollo update. To Elizabeth Sobeck, over the past two months, the full benefit of our procurement of a copy of the Homer Archive from Far Zenith has made itself known, and as a result, all of Apollo's key deliverables are on schedule. Apollo has already sur surpassed 40 million discrete data entries and continues to grow. The physical science modules are effectively complete, with soft science mo modules close behind. World history, cultural data, and media archives are also on schedule. Language preservation is wrapping up a bit ahead of schedule due to falling short of our goal to preserve 4,500 languages. I suppose the tragic early loss of Papua New Guinea doomed the goal from the outset, with attendant curricula developments about to begin. Speaking of the heuristic curricula, they are performing well in testing, with children and adolescents demonstrating high levels of engagement with the trust in the Aristotle and Aspasia Persone. Personally, I find them highly engaging, especially when they debate. Wish half my professors had been so entertaining. Peace be with you, Samina. I understood very little of that, but at least it sounded badass, and sometimes that's all that matters. Hmm. As long as you please my ears, then you please me. Here we go. Oh shit, he was in the middle of talking. Maybe he regularly death rattles in the middle of conversation. No one's gonna question that, right? Please, please actually die, thank you. 
Only one little moron noted. Never mind all of the little morons noticed. Am I safe here? You're coming all the way around. Why wouldn't you? A fucking co What are you shooting at? Here. What? Why? Apparently still no one heard you. Amazing. This stupid, stupid game. Hello oh my god. Even after that, no one noticed? Even I let out a fucking no screech then. Uh, it looks like I should probably be sticking to arrows, because everything else just gets me ass fucked. I would like to keep my anus intact for at least a little bit longer, please. Right, what do we got here? A couple of shards. A couple of... Ooh, a potion. Might as well use that right now, then. Why can we only store nine? I need to murderize a few more animals. God damn, I didn't expect potion storage to be a fucking problem. We never have those. A little bit of extra slag shine. The shiniest slags in existence. There we go. Is that really all it was? Fucking pathetic. Look around. See if anything's left. Just a few more potions. I mean, have they stolen shit from here? Have they just been tearing it apart piece by piece, trying to find information on their beloved Hades? Or have they been corrupting all of Gaia this entire time? Are they the reason the uh, derangement began? I mean, it, it's possible, I guess. It's hellish, but it's fucking possible. Okay, that's actually really worrying. I didn't even think about that till now. I mean, we can go in there. Or, or I can take a little look up here, which sounds way more f <laughs> fucking interesting. <laughs> what the fuck is f <sighs> I make such old man noises when I'm afraid. What do we got here? Jerez Testimonial. Received the 15th of January, 2066. Dr. Sobek, please archive this testimonial in Apollo. Cross reference to all mentions of my name and Operation Enduring Victory. My name is General Aaron Harris. From 2060 to 2066, I served as the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, the highest ranked officer of the United States Armed Forces. Holy shit, the, the highest ranked in all of the fucking is army? Planning. Military, I mean? Out of literally everyone. Huh. What is the point of putting a human in command of the largest mechanized force? And the whole point of them being mechanized is you don't need fucking human input? Was to delay that extinction by days or weeks. By throwing more death at it. Genius. Good job, Harris. Doubt they even really had time to think about the future world while they were trying to wrap up the last little fucking bits of uh, the present world, their present world. I, I, I thought they'd be so, you know, caught up in trying to create said future world. They wouldn't really put much thought into the people of said future world or, or what comes next, right? I don't know. Maybe that's just me. What do we got here? Welcome to Hades. You made Travis the fucking leader? Well, of course Hades became fucking disastrous then, and of course he looks like that. That's exactly what I expected. The purpose of Gaia is to resurrect life. So why give her a subordinate function, only purpose of which is to wipe out life all over again? I mean, what the... what? Just Fuck you. Crazy, ain't it? I hate well, you. No, it isn't. Reconstituting a biosphere? That's a tall order. Tech smart as Gaia may be, odds are she won't get it right the first time. I mean, why is he constantly guy, miming the strangest wank I've ever seen? Biosphere growing, it's all gone wrong. Alkalines are skyrocketing. Coniferous forests eroding under the lash of superstorms that would have drowned Noah. I'm far too distracted by the goddamn the hand positions, the gestures. Now what are you gonna do? Release phase one organisms into that hot mess? Hope their CO2 and methane can balance out what you got started? Hell no. What are you gonna do, Gaia? 
is step aside while Hades takes over and does what you're just too darn nurturing and life-loving to do. Which is burn that misbegotten mess of a biosphere to the ground so Gaia can start over. Okay, not burn, more like reverse terraforming operations and suffocating. Oh! But you get the idea. Oh, I see, so Hades is currently doing his fucking job! Back to zero. Square one. Blank slate. But why? And then, only then, does it hand the steering wheel back to guy and say, Fucking take two. again, old girl. And better this time, or we'll have to do this again. That's Hades. It's pretty badass when you think about it. No, it's fucked up to all hell. And death on speed dial. All for the greater good. Why not just give guy a fail safes? Kind of metal. So welcome to Hades. Make us smart enough to learn and fix the world as it comes. We don't need to slaughter. If that's the original purpose of Hades, why does it want me extinct? We need more data. And how does it end up in the wreckage of a pharaoh titan, getting worshipped by the eclipse like some kind of god? Because it can kill literally everybody. Kind of obvious, don't you think?